hello hello welcome back to african traveler we are here in blackpool it's raining down a bit so guys follow us let's see the local area and the alleyways these are hotels around here benson hotel okay this place clean you know, all the bit there he's got the pot flower pot hole i was gonna show you the alleyways but this one is shot yeah that one there is shot so I don't want to take you down the front. This bit here, it's pissing down though, it's raining, it started raining. So it's wet, 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 wet weather. I'm expecting a delivery as well. So I'm just gonna do it a quick, quick one. So I need to get back. There's the Grand Hotel. There's a car park there. That's the, uh, not the back, but it's facing this way. The front is down that way, the front reception, I think that's the access to the car park. How do they get in there? Oh, oh you have to drive through here, control, and then drive down that way. But this is the other side of the entrance, the front entrance, so this was facing the promenade. That's the back entrance, I guess. So guys, uh, follow us, let's see what is raining though. It's wet, just started raining. Amazon, Amazon, no. I'm not expecting things from Amazon. DPD, hopefully. I got a surprise for you guys. So, sometimes we have to treat ourselves. That's a nice Range Rover, guys. Yeah, that is a nice range. It's nice and clean. Back, man. It's a nice range. Come on, man. Give us a key. Let's go for a ride. This is the hostel here. So, guys, so we need to be careful. Let's see where we go in. This is guy turning right. Yeah, it's turning right. It's not signaling. So, you know what? Let's be safe. Let's be safe and be sorry. I just saw you guys have seen the front bit of a grand hotel in my previous videos this is the other side of the grand hotel beer cans and stuff I don't know if they have a ground do they have a ground man that's take care of the place I don't know all the cans will be picked up guys this place used to be called the Hilton it used to be called Hilton, so the chain is now is Grand Hotel. It's among the first venues that worked in Blackpool as a doorman or a bouncer or a door supervisor. It's got so many, you got so many names for those uh, doorman, bar, bouncers, door supervisors, and all that. So, this is it, this is how it looks at the back. It's the Grand Hotel. So if you book in for the Grand Hotel in Blackpool, so expect to stay in here. So probably you might not see how it looks on the house, the outskirts of it. So if you watch this video, you will see how it looks. And some containers, about four 40 foot containers at the back. So we're just gonna take you around. There's some corner shops. You know how people are like, people love kinds of beers. We have a beer. In the corner shop, we have the beers and that. Beers and fags. Maybe sort of stuff like uh, milk, bread. There'll be no businesses for the corner shops. So the corner soap man will survive with a oh guys right tipping wow somebody just dumped their tip their rubbish right here so cans of beer is everywhere there's people walking by the pavement they just throw things or the Hilton maybe the Hilton doesn't know what's oh, running cables in there 
I hope they're not live cables. The cables there. S snaps. I hope they're not live. So nice, look at it. Oh, this guy there, they got a cleaner there. It's a cleaner going around. Picking out cans and rubbies in the car park, but I guess if the management are watching, they will, they will send the cleaner here. So he will spend bloody weeks. There's a cleaner there, as you can see, the man with the high vis with the bin bag, black bin liner bag. Do I have my phone? Yeah, I got my phone yeah, in case I got a phone call. But so, guys, sorry. <laughs> so, so many cans in here. So many cans. Where is all these cans coming from? That's a driveway already. I saw Meta up before, innit? We met again. Is it Anna? Maybe he's a knock on it. He's gonna call the customer. I think we met before. Nice to meet you again. Nice meet we met you. again. You're doing well, yeah? yeah Good. It's nice to see you. Nice. Alright, we met before, so <laughs> we met again. So guys, look at it. Yeah, it's an Uber driver so doing the delivery. Amazon guy getting a little thing, dropping stuff and that. You're doing good, yeah, bro? Yeah, you're good, yeah? Right. <laughs> wow. It's massive, it's massive van though. It's massive van. You're good? Right. It's probably just done the delivery in uh, Corp. It's Corp there. Yeah, we met Anna in my previous video in town. If you watch that video, you'll see her. She gave us a quick interview. It's a construction going over that side. It's big buildings, isn't it? It's car folded. So let's go around. What's going on? This car folding here. It's boarded up. So maybe someone smashed the, smashed the glass. God. Hey, cheers, bro. Thanks, man. So maybe someone smashed the window of a corp. Yeah, maybe he got caught like look at this the van there. Maybe he got caught like getting through a driveway. Big van in it if you're not careful. Driving big van. Cause smell something, man. Smell something, some pain. Smell some pain. Let's cross over. That's the gain over that side, the gain square. But we don't want to go that way. It's that electrical discount center. That is the core there. It's like the window features. It's gonna fit like uh, I'm gonna take the boarded thing out and then they will replace the glass I guess. Okay guys, let's go further. Let's go, let's go not it's not the best weather today it's freezing isn't it it's, cold, mate, it's a bit yeah. cold isn't it <laughs> yeah guys it's not too bad you know but it's still it's not the best weather either so guys uh, what do you think about this area what do you think give us a give us a comment Write your own opinions in the comments. Tell us what do you think about this area. So I'm gonna show you the street's name as well. This Odmon Odmon Avenue going this way. That way, it's Odmon Avenue. So if you go straight, it's Wally Road. See the signs there? It's at the top. It's a Wally a Wally Road, and this area here they have a neighborhood watch. There's a sign in there saying neighborhood wash area. Guy seems like he got a vintage bike. That's a nice bike. Is it a vintage? Yeah. Yeah, how old is it? Just don't laugh. <laughs> so guys uh Yeah, tell us what you think man. What do you tell us what you think? I'm just looking for it. Oh there's an alleyway there, alleyway gate there, it's open. Oh, there's a, this one here, so let's go. Alleyway gate is open, so let's just show you the back street and alleyways. But that other one there is not open, though. So let's just show you around. 
here do not leave the gate open offense offenders may be prosecuted lancaster customer cctv so how we're not gonna be the offenders yeah so someone left their gate open there's a mop pocket it's an alleyways let's see so sometimes you get a flight tipping a lot of flight tipping on the alleyways but here see it seems nice and tidy you know this is it seems uh, nice and tidy it's a uh, it's a uh, right here this alleyway is clean spotless so what do you think tell us in the comments what do you think do you agree with me let's go we're gonna compare some other alleyways oh that is a boarded building who's gonna buy this there's a lot of work need doing here as you can see it's for sale and look there's a lot of work need doing in here you need a new roof you need a lot of things doing here and number two it's a lot of work need doing over this end Street is this? What street is it? No, we can't pick up any street name here. Oh, next to it, though, is a nice house there. That's a nice house, number six. Is that a flat? It's got a buzzer, so it seems like two grand floor flat. Eleven thirty-four in the morning. So what do you think around this area? That's a Selborne Street over that side. Shabon, yeah. Shabon Road. We're heading down to Shabon Road. I think today was the Bean Man's collection day. It's a bean collection day. As you can see the recycling bean and the, the cardboard and paper bag. So this was St. Paul's Road, okay. St. Paul's Road in Blackpool. Oh, there's a black cat there. So you see there, neighborhood watch area. So the neighborhood watch. This is a neighborhood watch area. Wow, sir. It's range evoke. Different type of range in there. See, there's another alleyway there. You see, there's that alleyway there. People have left them in sofas, some couches on the alleyway. So, guys, uh, I don't know that gate is open, but I want to show you this end here. Let's just show you this way here is a bit like uh, maybe some the wind blow okay see maybe the wind blew this what is that is that bread or what oh you're cool no it's something else part of it maybe the wind blew this rubbish there's a bit of rubbish on the road on the pavement and this is the council vehicle there, so the council goes around. Sometimes they play. Yeah, they go around the alleyways and play the rubbish that been dumped in the alleyway. So this is why, uh, this is why people sometimes they just dump things in the alleyway. He's watching us as well. He's got a camera there, right? Is that a camera? Let's see. So that was left, so this has not been dumped, but it's been left on the driveway. So probably, well, that's a, it can't be care home, can it? Salborn Road care home, can it be? No, it can't be a care home, but there's a sign there saying a care home. I think it's too small to be a care home. Yeah, people just dump things in the alleyway, knowing like the council will come around and they will clear it. Because it's a fire risk in it. 
and it's obstructing the the alleyway in in case of fire the fire brigade comes it's gonna obstruct them to do their job so they just dump it there the council will come and pick it up so this is what you should do get a skip it's a house uh, renovation or refurbishment yeah really we haven't had access to go through like alleyways but to be honest that's Claremont Road if you go further down all the way there it's all Claremont Road to be honest it's not too bad this end you know it's not too bad comparing to when you go other places like we'll show you more con you know we'll make more contents of the local areas in Blackpool you know alleyways and stuff you guys can decide yourself and make your own judgment there so these contents are just there for you guys so you guys can just point out your own opinions your views you can tell us what do you think would you live around this area would you live around this area in Blackpool just let us know in the comments the comment area so this is now Chesterfield Road, yeah? As you can see. Chesterfield Road. It's a caravan right there. The caravan is the old one, isn't it? It's got a big house, you know? It's massive. Number 52. Wow. This is like... Seems like still in the 90s, isn't it? Or 80s. The house is massive, though. I wonder if somebody's living there it's got like oh damn I don't think so is it but look at that look at that window there it's no glass on it I doubt I don't know maybe wow seems like an abandoned building that's what it seems like to me it's massive though it's a big it's all one place you know it's massive, look at this garage shutter there. Bless it, might be an older guy, or older woman, or older someone. Look at the garage. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, this is an abandoned building, nobody lives there. Can't be. Can't be, look at all this, look. No one will, no one will live in there, it's a smash window. It's a massive house though. Can you imagine if you get this house and redo it? It's got like God knows how many bedrooms are in there. There's an old caravan there. It's a big house. You could turn it like you could turn it to flats or rooms. Massive. So guys, we're not lucky yet to get like a loose gate, alleyway gate we can go through, but these alleyways are not too bad to be honest comparing to the ones we see it's an american vehicle seems like american boy is a right-handed look at these houses here they all look all the way this way they all look the same same roofing and all that See this place is here, this house is like the driveway is how it looks like. It's quite handy though, you get your driveway and you could park freely here, this way. Is it like a permit holder? Yeah, I think you need to be a resident or permit holder, isn't it? I think so. But there's no sign saying that. If there's no sign, that means then uh, 
and there's no permit in this vehicle so like it's free parking then because usually usually is it is it, if it's resident if it's, is it a resident parking that means they will have something in their vehicle like they'll have something here right oh and then there should be a sign in the in a lamp post or like in a post saying like resident parking and stuff so if you see that and you park around there and it's a risk these alleyways are not too bad you know there's nothing left over on the alleyways so if you see that and you park there without a resident, a resident uh, permit you will get like the council coming and giving issuing a ticket to you so you need to keep an eye on that so like wherever you park in Blackpool just make sure you keep an eye uh, make sure it's not a residential parking bit let's go this way so that is for sale that is for sale there's a tiger it's, it's like it's a tiger it's a farm that does like letting on that it's a letting agent so if anybody wants to find out about the price you could call that number call that number and the house number is number 33 so i'm so tiger estate uh, will uh, give you the the price of the house they will tell you how much the house is going for uh, and i will tell you the name of the street as well in a bit if you find i think it's Edgerton road so look at that that's a bit of a rubbish that's a bit of a rubbish left on the side and uh yeah if you're looking to buy that house or you want to make an inquiry that's a number there it's that couch in there and there's a mauritian uh, there's a corner shop yeah that's a corner shop here so yeah i believe it's egerton road that road there it's egerton road and there used to be a pol a police like a community yeah this is it blackpool council neighborhood community division so this is it it's like the neighborhood communities division now uh, council team but you got the police and all that coming around here the same at times yeah they, they do patrol here a lot like he says there what's it called neighborhood watch so yeah, this is Egerton, Egerton Street or Egerton Road, this road here. So if you're making an inquiry about that, that house I just showed you there, just give them the house number and tell them it's Egerton Road. That is Eve Street here. That's Eve Street. So basically you walk further, further up, that will take you to the promenade, the beach. So I used to live around this end here. I'll show you number, is it 55 or something? 55 or 60 Eve Street. It's not a bad area. So this is what I was telling you. So you see, if you if you park around here, you need to get a permit. So that is a permit, you see? Resident permit holders. So, oh God. This is a problem though of Blackpool. People don't pick up their dogs yet. You know? People don't pick up their dog shit man. That is a problem. Some of these dog I mean owners they don't clean after their dogs. It's a big problem here in Blackpool. So yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's another abandoned building see there there's nothing in there there's no one has lived here for years by the look of it you know what? i lived here for a couple of months but i never noticed that 
to be honest but like I said and also it seems like an empty house no it's not really just the blinds are dark if, yeah I used to live here but most of the time I just go to work uh, inside my house and that's it is that right is it number five did I say 55 yeah I was wrong number eight I was living in number eight in this flat here I lived in here I lived here before it was like a shared accommodation yeah it was a shared accommodation I was told this used to be a post office it used to be like a post office years back oh yeah I spoke to this oh, that old chap there a while ago that is his place I think he's the one that was telling me before yeah it used to be this it was he there? yeah so it used to be the post office that building yeah I spoke to the old chap here yeah, he's a nice guy actually yeah he's a nice guy he lives there alone yeah you see at the top there it says Tucci Tucci pens Tucci pens something like that so that used to be a post office that building there yeah the old chap there lives alone he lives all alone in that place can you imagine that is for Lex can you imagine like I don't want to be old by myself you know I don't mind being by myself in this age but when I get older I want to be with someone at least I don't want to age by myself you know that is a tire fitting place right? so yeah I think I need a company I need someone to be with <laughs> I need to start finding someone actually I don't want to be by myself in my you know old age to be honest I want to share a cup of tea or brew with, with someone I don't want to be by myself so when I get old I should start I guess I should start getting <laughs> getting someone now <laughs> before that that's a car wash there how you doing? You alright? You good, yeah? Yeah, yeah, not too bad, man. Is it Andy? Is it Andy? What's your name? Is it Andy? Tom. Tom. Thank you, Tom. So you're getting the vehicle started, isn't it? Yeah, he's jumping up. Oh, it's Tom. I thought it was Andy. <laughs> Actually, I was just guessing that. Yeah, but his name is Tom. That is the car wash here. Was that the range I saw parked over there? Yeah, yeah, that was the range. That was the range we saw parked on my... On the beginning of the video, innit? That was the range over there. Yeah, that was the range we saw earlier. It's quick fix, is it? Yeah, quick fix. Quick fix, entire place. Let's cross the road guys Yeah that was the range we saw on my On that street over there That's the Wilton Hotel Guys there's a lot of hotels in Blackpool you know I tell you what The amount of hotels in Blackpool God Should be like more than thousands of hotels in Blackpool There's so many so many hotels and some hotel got converted oh there's an alleyway here let's see yeah some hotel got converted to flats maybe someone will shout at me or scream at me so who cares let's go is that all like this is how it looks in the back Usually that other gate used to be open, so I'm not sure if it's open. If it's open, it's a shortcut. It's the back end of that other flats over there. These are all like hotels. These are all commercial 
places. Oh, look at that there. It's all been smashing, man. Somebody's garage. Smash. Wow, what have we got there? Posh. Is it Buster? What is it again? Is it Buster there? With the spot car. I'm not going to get close to it, so. It is just a quick one. It's an alleyway there. So you see that garage? That garage is smashing. Uh oh. That is shot there. How could I could have just used that as a circuit boy shot. If he's there, you never know, he might be working. If the scrap man comes here, he'll be happy. Scrappy, come over. Come over this end. Anybody watching this video and you're a scrap man, just come by the uh, Imperial Hotel. There's an alleyway here. There's so many scrap metals in there, man. And there's a TV, so that might worth a couple of quid there. You can make at least. 10 to 20 quid of that I believe so guys you see we're just coming all the way to create this content for you you know if you enjoy this please give us a thumbs up give us a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing to the channel the plus one plus two plus three plus four in our road to 5k journey guys that's uh, Wilton Parade that's a tram stop people are waiting for this tram yeah please consider hitting the subscribe button join the African world traveler family by subscribing and watch your videos like and share and comment your opinion as well so what do you think about overall of this video today let us know we've been going around showing new things that is a trip that hotel he says i've never been so i wouldn't say whether it's a three star or not that's the strand hotel so if you stayed there before let us know give us your rating how do you what do you think about the this strand hotel is it actually a three star hotel or is it just a made up star or is it a one one star hotel let us know in the comments oh they need to fix that that need to be fixed for the place so this is it we are back here where we started and that range rover no actually it's a different range rover i thought that was the range rover we saw in the car wash but no it wasn't that's a different one that was a different one they do look alike well yeah i think this one is nicer it's right there it's still packed there yeah that is a drive through to the grand hotel what's it doing is he having a break or is he just It's a dog walker walking his dog. What's he doing? So yeah, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this content, guys. That's where we started and we're gonna end the video here please hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up guys if you enjoy this video 